Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today I'm tying a little black stone dry fly. In my area, the mid-Atlantic, these bugs start becoming active in the fall and will hatch through the winter into early spring from what I've seen. The trout absolutely love these bugs and they're often overlooked by anglers. This dry is a great dry dropper fly for when there are low flows in the colder months and a longer presentation is needed. It will float a 2.5 feed or smaller very well and the fish will definitely come up to eat this bug on top. I'm using a Dohiku 301 dry fly hook in a size 16 and black UTC 70 denier ultra thread. Starting my thread on the hook and for the body I'm using peacock black ice dub. I like the little bit of peacock flash in there. Fill the dubbing noodle and start wrapping back leaving some space at the hook eye. Once you reach the bend of the hook, wrap the thread back through the dubbing making the body durable and clean. For the wing, I'm using two tips of Swiss EC feathers together. Tie them in a bit past the hook bend. I like them a little bit long. On the real bug, they do extend past the body a bit. Trim the CDC stems off in the front. The rest of the CDC feather is still good for some nymphs. For the illusion of some legs, I tie in a grizzly hackle feather in about a size 16. Black hackle would also work really good as well. I wrap the hackle fiber over through the thorax, making touching turns. I do over hackle these for some extra flotation. I tie the hackle feather off of the hook eye. To keep my thread from slipping over the eye, I turn the hook up in the vise and whip finish. I do like to trim the hackle on the bottom of these. It makes the fly sit lower in the water, which makes it look really realistic and the fish do seem to like that. Tie some of these up, the colder months are approaching quick. 